So if we detach from consciousness just for the moment and go back to Descartes, all in 1650, whatever is questioning the reality outside of himself mm -hmm. and throw it into the future and ask if reality is reality, is not virtual reality real, whatever real may be? Hmm. People often use that you have the latest technology of the day to raise questions about reality. Um, you know, Descartes put these questions in terms of dreaming. How can mm. I know that I'm not dreaming yes. right now? And then he, then he built the thought experiment of an evil demon. How can I know that an evil demon isn't producing all these perceptions of the world? As he would at that me, time. Even yeah. though none of it is real. These days, we ask exactly that same question by saying, basically, how do you know you're not in a virtual reality? right now right. might you be in the matrix could we be in a computer simulation and suddenly that question is just it's just kind of a contemporary way of yeah, it is a, of expressing modern, Descartes modern, modern, old right, question right, about course. reality and except i mean let's be honest you can put a mathematical value on every single thing in the universe mm -hmm. even particles have mm -hmm. we learned Existence, i learned yeah, yeah. they have mm -hmm. a what do you call it, half up or half down spin or, spin, up, spin spin down, spin yeah, up spin a charge so, a mass so a charge a mass so you could put a mathematical if you could put a mathematical value on every single thing mm -hmm. you can make a simulation of every single thing for sure right and in virtual reality right now you know in the actual virtual reality systems we have right now they have complex simulations and models inside them with with bits well, that have me, values. Let me pull some philosophy on you. Yeah. If we can represent reality on a computer, right. in a virtual, because we can mathematically map everything that's going on, then philosophically, does the question even matter? Ooh, because at that point, you can't tell the, the difference. virtual reality is the reality. It, so what difference does what it make? Difference does yes, it make? Let me reality ask. Reality is reality. Reality is reality, no matter what. Uh, well, then, then that's wow. not I'm, I'm sympathetic with your point, but there is a traditional philosopher's response, which goes something like this: Just say your spouse was cheating on you, <gasps> and you never discover it. Mm. So you never know the difference. Your life First of goes all, exactly. I knew it. <laughs> I'm sneaky. No, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> it, you never know, so it doesn't affect you at all. But a lot of people want to say, "Man, that would suck. That would be really bad." Even though I don't know, and they have the same attitude towards virtual reality. Even though it seems the same to me, my beliefs about the world are totally shattered. In the same way they would be by. My spouse cheating on me. So for those uh, dumpster divers uh, on our uh, podcast, uh, we actually uh, interviewed Nick Bostrom, one of oh, the that's right. uh, early yeah. advancers of the idea that we might be living mm -hmm. in a living simulation. A simulation. Yeah. He's one of your people, right? Yeah, he's a philosopher, wrote a classic article 2003, basically giving a mathematical argument that we should take this idea that we're in a simulation seriously. So that was four years after the movie The Matrix came out. Yeah. So yeah, I wonder if that inspired him. Is that allowed? Will a philosopher admit the pop culture influenced their deep. I wrote, I wrote an article on this stuff called The Matrix as Metaphysics, trying to... They asked me to write an article for The Matrix website back in the day. Nice. I wrote something, and I think it's one of my greatest philosophical ideas. Good. I published a book later That's on. That's what we're about here. Reality yeah. Plus, all pop about Pop culture this. influencing everything. And the key idea was that if we're in The Matrix, that doesn't mean everything we believe is wrong. Rather, we're living in a it from bit yep. universe. Are you, Can you we're break living that down? A, oh, what, we're living in a universe where the its, the tables, the chairs, mm -hmm. the plants, the planets, yep. are all made of bits, it's. processes in a computational system. If we're in a simulation, all of the its are made of bits, which connects to John Wheeler's famous idea that in physics, right. the basic its are all The difference bits, is, bit bit. not the difference, the... Further clarification is in the matrix, there is a layered reality because mm -hmm. their consciousness is contained within them, just like it is within yeah. us, but then it's connected to the matrix. Yeah. So what you're saying is if this were a virtual reality, when all of the it's would be bits would just mean that they're all constructed. There is no outside. Yeah, well, there's the pure it from bit where the uh, the bits are the basic level. And then there's uh -huh. also what I call the it from bit from it, which is <laughs> underneath the bits. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. You where exactly bits. do I get green eggs and ham <laughs> in, this, <laughs> in this virtual reality? You go, not to the matrix. Sam, you go up to the matrix, you find a computer which is running this simulation, mm. and right. it's got some bits, and all of its bits are made of like voltages in a circuit board, so right. it's it from bit. From from it. It. So what is the probability that we are in a simulation? And if we are, are we nothing more than some super sophisticated ant farm for a young being somewhere? 
from, from a, a mischievous alien in, in his parents' basement uh, programming us up. Uh, yeah. We're a school I project. In my, in my <laughs> school project. We're a school project at a, at a science fair in some distant Dude, galaxy. More likely it's a high-powered scientist who set up a billion simulations mm. overnight. Yeah. They just left him running. He's going to come back in the morning, He's gone away for dinner. gather, gather yeah. up the statistics. Oh, my gosh. That and, that the, makes more sense. and time dilation. It would make that more makes more sense. Yeah. I don't want to know that. Yeah. I didn't even say you that. You just ruined it for me. Oh, my God. You ruined it because guess what? Don't shut it down. And that would explain the multiverse and everything. Man. Yeah. Oh my Sorry, god, that's yeah. awful. Maybe it maybe Hegel once said that the end of history is when the universe becomes conscious of itself. So in this simulation idea, the moment we realize we're in a simulation, that's when they shut us down. Right. Don't shut us down. Just like the true conversation. Yeah, exactly.